say that uh, President Trump, for all of, all of his pluses and minuses, and I won't get into all of that, I would say he has reinvented the media, uh, uh, the use of media by presidents. I would say FDR more or less invented the fireside chat. Right. Um, John Kennedy. That was his Twitter, by the way. Right? It was. And John Kennedy perfected uh, news conferences. Eisenhower didn't really like to have news conferences. They didn't weren't that common. John Kennedy held one, I think, virtually every week. And we'd go over to the State Department Auditorium and have a press conference there. That reinvented the presidency. Ronald Reagan, because of his skill in front of a camera, was very good in making presentations and speeches. President Trump has used Twitter to his, um, I guess, advantage because he's now communicating directly. He's bypassed the press corps to some extent. And he's bypassed the need for a press briefing every day in the White House. He's using these Twitter... Uh, feeds and, and his tweets as a way to communicate with the American people. Whoever his successor is, whenever that occurs, will probably do much the same thing, maybe in a different tone, different way. But I think that uh, presidents have now gonna, are going to communicate with people much differently than they did many years ago because of what he's done. So Each Brett, president Brett, has a problem with the media. Each one. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I'm, and, and this one just expresses it a lot differently. In September, at the beginning of the impeachment inquiry and in the investigations, I'm going to quote you here. You said, we should all take a pause and look at what we're seeing in front of us. What did you mean by that? What you, were, you were talking about taking a pause about reaching judgment, I guess. Right. See the evidence. Let it play out. Let the thing, right. just cover it for what it is. Don't make assumptions or jump to things. I think, you know, in our current uh, state, uh, it's like panel after panel after panel about what people think about something that's happening before us. Mm -hmm. Instead of just the thing before us, and then let the viewer or reader decide what they think about it. And David, I think you've, you have also said that we should wait to make a judgment about the current administration. How long? When, 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 does, well, when do we start to see history? There are two different things. One, I, people can make judgments uh, currently about the president's good or bad and so forth, but historians generally like to have 30 to 50 years past before they can see all the documents to really make a, a historic judgment. So I think the definitive history of any administration probably occurs decades later. But clearly people can make judgments now about what the president's doing, rightly or wrongly, depending on their point of view. And um, I suspect that this hearing, as it goes forward, will go down in history as a historic moment in his presidency, uh, whatever the outcome is, for sure. Still, these telling moments come out. You interviewed Mike Pompeo, Secretary right. of State Mike Pompeo, and he made a sort of what seems in retrospect like a, a telling remark. He said to you, um, and again, I'll read it, that President Trump is very focused on where money is and how we use economic leverage to achieve our diplomatic ends. Does that... Well, at the time of that interview, um, I didn't obviously know about all of this, so I didn't know enough to follow up on what he was really uh, referring right. to, and it's been re referenced uh, um, since then. But uh, I would say the situation in Ukraine is very complicated. I was over in Ukraine myself for a conference not too long ago, and I actually did meet with the president of uh, Ukraine myself, um, and it was a, a meeting we, we talked about generic things. I didn't really realize any of this was going on at the time. He was a very smart man. Um, he's did, did portrayed Trump as come a, up in that? I'm sorry? Did Trump come um, up? Not really. Uh, yeah. he's, portrayed only as a, he's portrayed as a comedian, but it's not quite fair. He's a businessman who happened to um, own a comedy troupe. He had been a comedian, but he basically a very successful businessman and quite smart, I thought. And, um, you know, he did not raise this with me in the meeting, so I didn't know anything about it.